remember when the tortilla chip the Lay's came out with a limon salt chip and I got super. Ooh, that one got, that one had a little shrapnel. I'm paint this town with my very own vision. Hey guys, what's up? It's Dos Vegan Sisters. I am Bianca and we are two very opinionated women who are vegan and we love to judge. I'm gonna let you know about yourself and your food. Yeah, but I mean right now we're not gonna tell you about yourself because well, we're too busy eating to care about what's going on in your life to be honest. <laughs> Today we have a special little um, taste test for you. We got sent a package from a company and um, it was a company whose food we reviewed and they wanted us to taste more and we are going to review their food and we're going to be honest and not sponsored not sponsored just gifted but these opinions are 100 percent true if it is nasty we're gonna let you know if it is good we are gonna let you know yeah they reached out to us after we did a video on their delicious queso and asked if they could send us more goodies and i said faux show yeah you guys gotta thank them because you know we were on that quest for vegan cheese and we did about 14 videos looking for vegan cheese we're done yeah that's it we're then. done but we're not done taste testing vegan cheese because that wouldn't be dose vegan sisters would it we love to taste torture vegan cheese what? No. Oh, torture ourselves <laughs> oh it's a lot of tortilla chips it's a lot of chips <laughs> jesus wow so what do we have in here we have um fuego we have sal y limon which means salt and lemon that says, hola Bianca. Hola Siete Foods. Hola Siete Foods. Thanks so much for y'all's, Texas, what's up? For y'all's continued support. So awesome to see us on you, on your YouTube page. Enjoy these goodies. Juntos es mejor, the Siete family. And that means together's better, for those of you that don't speak Spanish. Gracias, gracias. mi gente. Gracias, gracias. All right. Now, the question is, are these, are, well, they're all, yes. wait. Okay, they're abuela approved. Abuela, <laughs> my um, abuela was not vegan. I'm sure they're vegan. We had an off-camera discussion about like, <laughs> are we sure this is vegan? Like, how do you? But I mean, like, we know there's like vegan ranch okay. products out there, but Shannon was suspicious. I'm I'm sorry. I'm still not vegan. That even though it says vegan, 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 I'm like, let me look at the ingredients with my spectacles. So it is vegan. It says dairy free and vegan. So in case you were wondering. So we're gonna try these. I can't open my bag of chips, so we have to do that. She hates my chip that opening feels. So that's what it looks like inside. It's pretty typical, typical for a chip bag to be like somewhat full because you don't want to no. get crunched and ruined and be like all disgusting when you get them. But it smells a bit. Like vegan cheese? Offensive. It's not like vegan cheese. Yeah. It's, you know, it's just when you get seasoning and you make them in powder form, they kind of have like this... Let's taste it. Offensive smell. Because, you know, we're already... Let me get an actual chip though. We're already complaining. It's like a cracker meets a tortilla chip and it has a lot of seasoning on it but no salt and it's not salty you know what i'm saying it's not like overly salted yeah it's not over salted the flavor it does have salt on it but the flavor is really in the dill and the parsley we're gonna use our siete <laughs> oh you swear that this was all right so next i want to try sea salt all right, let's give this one a try. Woo! So this one has less of a smell in it. It actually has like no smell in it. It smells like a tortilla. I love how like bubbly 
the texture is, like how like you could tell this has been fried or something. It makes me excited. I have room oh, that's good. Mm hmm That's a good chip. This reminds me of a pop chip. I mean, it's a tortilla chip. That's got a that's got a really nice like oily flavor from the avocado oil. Just enough salt. It's a mm -hmm. light, it's airy, it's thin, so it's not like power, like you know, you're biting yeah. into a stiff. And they're fresh. They taste fresh. Mm -hmm. they, they don't taste like they've been in the bag for six months. These taste like the tortilla chips you get at a Mexican restaurant that are handmade. Yeah. Oh, we got more than one of those? They gave us like enough for every bag. Thank you. See, I think Thank you. Good. Thank you. So far, so good. Two down. Yeah. The other ones were the. I like, I'm not a fan of all that like dill flavor, but. I'm a fan of this one right here. I really like this one. So we're gonna try this one. Now I remember when the tortilla chips, the Lay's came out with a limon salt chip and I got super, so ooh, that one got, that one had a little shrapnel. When we were little, there was just regular tortilla chips and potato chips and we would have to take lemon, tapatillo, mm -hmm. chile, add it on top of our mm -hmm. chips and mix it up or take our Fritos and add the chili and the cheese that, you know, back when we were vegan, we were kids. So it's kind of cool that you got all these flavors now. Yeah, I love the variety of flavors. I didn't know you had so many different ones. These ones don't smell like anything. I don't smell the limon. Yeah, still don't smell it. Oh, I taste it, it's subtle. These ones are denser than the other ones. Did you notice that? Is it all the chips or just those the ones that we yeah. tried? Yeah, oh, denser too. They're good. Yeah, that's good. I like it. Get me like some beer and like chow down. So now we're just going straight for the fire. Oh, that had a little lemon. Oh, I didn't even know what I grabbed. You know I shouldn't want to grab fire. <laughs> we're going to go straight for the fire. Fuego! I know I'm such a wimp. We were not a fan of Taco Bell's. Your seasoning was so bad. Oh my God, seriously. Your Guys, dogs, your dogs I love warm. you. We're almost done. We'll I cheer. love you. They're so dramatic. Like, I've already, like, taken them out. My eyelash got stuck to my other eyelash. I already taken them out, took them to the bathroom, got them water, played with them. Okay. Way go. These also have a weird smell. Like their seasoning smells weird. I don't know. I've never like put my nose. It in smells my, spicy. In my seasoning and smelled it, so I can't tell you if that's what. It, it probably smells. smells like that because it's like not fake. <laughs> That's what real seasoning just smells like. Okay, well, let's... Oh, this my gosh, you are doing the most. This one has a nice, uh, like, Dorito-esque vibe going on. Mm-hmm, the spicy. Mm -hmm. Oh, those are really fuego -y. It's got a kick. Mm-hmm. It kind of starts off a little sweet, but then it, like, pa-pam, and then pa-pams one more time. Ooh. <laughs> it's pa-pamming. It's like bouncing all over my tongue. That is really, really spicy mm -hmm. after you eat it. It has like a resonating spice to it. If you like really, really spicy Doritos, like those spicy ones, mm -hmm. that's what these taste like, but, it be could, but better. They could do with some more salt. All, all of them don't have enough salt. could do with some more salt, but that might just be because Darshana and I have a super salty and that might be also part taste. of their, their family um plan is not to have so much salt because of the dietary restrictions too so i don't know if that's something that has to do with that or not yeah but. so i'm excited for these ones because i love the doritos and i've never found anything that just like a dorito these have more of like a cool ranch vibe going on in color they smell like wax. Yeah, they don't smell like anything. Mmm. They're good. I like those. They taste like Cool Ranch Doritos. You know, the flavors in all of these are just so, like, subtle. Different. Like, like you made these chips at home and put your own seasoning on them, kind of. Like, it's just not aggressive. It's not artificial. I think that's why it's not aggressive. It tastes homemade. 
the thing is, is like, I didn't know what to think because, you know, we found one thing that we love from this company. And then like when they sent us stuff, we were like, hey, free food. <laughs> <laughs> but all of their chips have such a unique flavor. Yeah. They're not, it's not the same. So these are lime. Which is weird because they already made limon. So I wonder if. What the difference between the salt? No, there's salt in them. I mean, there couldn't ugh, there couldn't be any less salt. Again, it smells like nothing. No, a lot of salt. These are my favorite. Mm -hmm. They are good. We're gonna fight over that bag. Yeah, I like these a lot. Oh my gosh! I can oh my gosh! Bag. These are like. These would taste really good with their queso. These ones taste like what you, um, when you put salt and lemon on your own tortilla chips, that's what it tastes like. Yeah. Because they have a lot of, it's surprising that they have so much salt when the salt y limon ones didn't have that much salt. They're yeah, really good. Yeah. These right now are my faves. These are my favorite. That was really good. Yeah. Thank you, Siete Foods. Yeah, thank you, Siete. I really, they're very different. They're not what you'd expect from a tortilla chip. I think the plain ones and the limon ones are the closest to what you'd expect from a chip, but they're all interesting and unique. I just think what I found really interesting about it, I did not love all the flavors, okay? I did not because there's some stuff that I just, myself, I didn't love, but the lightness of the chip was very refreshing because usually when you buy store-bought chips, they're very dense Hard. and they're made because they're made with, you know, corn or traditional flour and so they're really and that's not bad i mean you're used to them so you're used to eating them like that but these were light airy they tasted like they were made in an air air fryer yeah you know they were so fresh and the seasoning was very very light mm -hmm. so if you are like me and my sister who where we put 10 tons of salt on everything it was different but those limon those lime chips not the limon cosa but the lime ones were so good yeah those are my favorite uh, yeah. I love the plain ones as well. The plain ones could be the used. The sea salt one. Yeah, the sea salt ones. Give me for nachos when you pour that queso on top so that it doesn't contrast with the flavor. I think it's all really just about what flavors you like. Like, um, I don't like dill and I don't like fuego. And so, like, I'm not going to like those flavors. The chips weren't bad. They just weren't my taste. Um, there was some consistency issues. Some were, like, like lighter and some were, like, harder. But they all... I would eat them all. Like, if these stay in my house, I'm going to eat all of these bags. Just, like, I'm just going to say it. I would eat them all. Yeah. I, I wouldn't eat the Fuego one just because and I didn't like the ranch ones. But I don't like ranch chips or hot chips anyway. So, I wouldn't. It wasn't, like, just their hot chips were bad. I just, I don't like it. But the lime ones? Mm, I will buy those lime ones again. I like those a lot. With your queso because your queso was so good. Da bomb. So if you haven't tried their queso, go try get, it. Go get it. <laughs> yeah. I don't care what it costs. If it's twenty bucks, it's worth twenty. I think it's six dollars. I was at Whole Foods today and I was considering getting another bottle, and it was five ninety nine. To be honest, it is the best vegan cheese that I've tasted, and mm -hmm. that I love you spirals. Not bad. But this was better than that. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Just FYI. So again, yeah. thank you, Siete Foods. We loved the chips. I have found a, a type that I am going to buy again and again and again. Again, let us know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not. Yeah, Go subscribe. ahead. Subscribe, guys. Subscribe. Subscribe. Not subscribe, but subscribe. You know, I did get my undergraduate in English. I'm glad that you learned how to pronounce words too. <laughs> subscribe. I have a lazy tongue. Thank you very much. Okay, mom. <laughs> um, don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the alert button. But please leave us comments. We want to know what you guys I think. Tell me what you guys say. We've been bored lately. Where you been at, Kingslayer? Yeah, other <laughs> other guy, BB King, or whatever your name was. Where'd you go? We feel abandoned.